iOS 18 Beta 3 was released this morning and here we have it installed. So let's go ahead and take this opportunity and look around and see what's new on the new Apple CarPlay homepage. So in case you're new, iOS 18 the official release should be released sometime during the fall and the compatible devices are at listed right here. So, so long as you have an iPhone 10s or 10R or newer, you are perfectly fine. You'll be able to use this update when it gets released. So the new thing I immediately noticed can be located in the settings. If you scroll down, we now have the new Siri and Suggestion updated icon as this is going to be the new design for Siri. Not in here, but back here. That's the new Siri design, giving us the hint that Apple CarPlay will be able to take advantage of that ChatGPT collaboration with Apple that we are extremely excited for when we get it on the iPhones. Well, supported iPhones, unfortunately. From my understanding, the 15 Pros and as well as the 15 Max will are the only iPhones that will take advantage of the ChatGPT integration, new Siri, basically. But in Siri and Suggestion, everything is standard, like what we've seen in the previous OS, iOS 17 as an example, where you can enable show Siri suggestions in the dashboard, which is your main home page, automatic send messages, but I like leaving that off for a confirmation, and the show apps behind Siri. So what this basically means, if I launch Siri right now, let's get like a general question. How's the weather in Seattle? It's partly clear in 87 degrees in Seattle, Washington. This theme is the new update, but notice how the background is actually clear. Now if I disable this and do the same thing, how's the weather like in New York? The National Weather Service has issued an air quality alert until tomorrow. It's currently cloudy and eight. Notice how the background was blurred. Basically, that's what it allows you to do. I like having this that disabled just due to the fact it helps with distractions. Now, in the uh, voice control, in the new accessibility tab available for iOS 18, of course, we now have filters I previously covered in the past. So if you have a hard time of seeing certain color, color blindness basically, or you're wearing polarized lens like glasses, you may find this beneficial where you can increase the density or lower it as you see. But we are not colorblind, I'm going to disable that. But in the voice control, this new icon will pop up here as well as on your iPhone telling us that Siri is waiting for your command. And the new feature that they added is previously you could say tap to control anything, but now you could actually say press as well. So if I enable this and say open music, it's more responsive, and but now I can also say press back tab. And I could go back, or if I like to go into my playlist, I could say tap playlist. So you could say the third party app name, so like open YouTube music. And since we use a third party name, it's compatible. And again, I could say tap back. And I'll go back like that. So it's key command words are tap as well as press followed by the name or the title of the action you're trying to do. So like tap last played and boom, it works. Open settings. So that's voice control in a nutshell. It's more consistent than ever before. And of course we have the new bold text ability where everything just gets bolder, allowing you to see all your icons and read things easier in my opinion, even though I don't have a hard time of seeing things, just due to the fact it just fills up the space really well. But for the purpose of the video, I'll keep it on, why not? And then sound recognition also has been improved. By having this on, Siri will constantly look for car horns and will give you a little notification as well as sirens. Now last time I tested this out it didn't really work as planned but let's see if I play like a siren noise on a different iPhone if it's smart enough to detect that. There we go cop sirens. And just like that I was able to detect sirens and notice that the notification icon is also different now in iOS 18. But the noise detection is definitely much more accurate than the previous beta 2 update. And then a new tab that was also added right here is silent mode. When enabled iPhone silent mode, iPhone will not play alerts and system sounds when connected to CarPlay. The iPhone will still play ringtone, alarms, timer, and music and audio from videos. So this has been redesigned because previously it was just because previously it was just kind of confusing. And now they kind of simplified it. 
to the point where it will tell you exactly what each action does. So if we disable it, iPhone will play alerts and system sounds when connected to CarPlay. So in other words, if you have multiple devices like an Apple Watch or iPhone, if you get an alert, it will display it on CarPlay instead of all three of your devices. Then as for text messages, whenever you receive a text message, this is now the new notification for that as well. And it also gives you the profile to your contact. But replying to text messages has been the same. Now Siri also got some improvements where now you can request Siri to locate certain things if you're using CarPlay Siri. So I'm going to activate it with the steering wheel by long holding. Where's my wallet? Looking for wallet. It's nearby. It's able to actually pin my devices now from here. I just don't know how to end it. Another new update is Siri is now bilingual, accordingly to the Apple Note. So I'm gonna go try to talk to it in Spanish. ¿Cómo está clima? I'm happy to be here. All right, I know my Spanish isn't perfect, but clima means weather, from my understanding. Let me try again. ¿Cómo está el clima ahora? There's no one in your contacts named Homo Esta. Okay. It's probably not working yet. Maybe as soon as the official release of iOS 18. But one thing I do find kind of cool is, again, you could actually ask Siri, what was the Kings' score in hockey? The Kings lost the series four games to one against the Oilers. They lost the last game four to three on May 1st, 2024. That UI remained the same, but that is new for iOS 18. And of course, if you may have noticed, this uh, home button is also different now. This resembles something like the classic iPod Touch home button. Now finally, we have the ability to record with our iPhones while media is playing on CarPlay. So unfortunately, as the time making this video, Beta 3 kind of broke this because it doesn't work. But on Beta 2, it was working perfectly fine. So as the time making this video, for Beta 3, this doesn't work anymore because I tried doing that earlier and it just pauses the track immediately. I can't have two things running at once. But my previous video, I demonstrate that it does indeed work. So as soon as the official iOS 18 beta comes out in fall, this is going to be an amazing feature. And the only way to enable this is just go on your iPhone settings and go into your camera and then go in recording sound and just enable audio playback. Because if you read the description, it will allow playback audio to resume and continue even while you're recording. So that's pretty awesome. Other Amation integrations can also continue to be found on your iPhone. In case you missed it, you do have motion sickness that you can now enable on your iPhone. So if you're somebody who's known to have a little bit of motion sickness, you go in your iPhone control center, go into the vehicle motion, and just enable it. And now these little dots will appear on your iPhone screen to help reduce motion sickness. And if you don't see this here, again, you could just long hold and go into wiggle mode and then tap where it says add control and go all the way down until you see the vision accessibility option and there you can find the vehicle motion sickness tool and you can click and drag it wherever you want now in terms of maps nothing new has been added here that i noticed other than the update in terms of like some of the icons as these icons are now hollow in a sense they look more 3d than before and depending on the vehicle you're using carplay on you can still double tap to zoom in and zoom out single-handed and then in search, of course, you have Siri dictation. Nothing else has changed really there. So other than that, there you guys have it. That is a quick update of Beta 3 and what's new, what still exists, and some existing new bugs about Beta 3. If I missed some or you'd like to share some new features that I may have overlooked, feel free to comment down below for the rest of us to take a look at and start using day-to-day -day on our Apple CarPlay. But we reached the end of the video. If you'd like to watch more, you can check out that video over there where I go through all the new changes on TVOS. Thank you so much for watching.